Hello everybody and welcome to this edition of Learning at Home with Mrs. V. All right, we're going to compare decimals today and when we're comparing decimals, we're going to be comparing a decimal to another decimal. We're also going to be comparing a decimal to a fraction and then we're also going to compare a decimal to the word form. All right, and we're going to determine which is greater, which we're going to put a greater than, a less than, or an equal to sign depending on what we determine. So one thing that you'll notice, we have a place value chart here. And so in my place value chart, I have the tens, ones, then I have my decimal, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, all right? So you're gonna see that in our work in class also this week. All right, so let's go ahead and in order to get started, we need to read the numbers first. So we've got 34 and 223 thousandths, compared to 34 and 232 thousandths. Now I can kind of determine which is greater by looking at them and comparing, but it's easy to write them on a place value chart and see um, when the numbers are on top of each other or stacking them on top of each other, it's easiest to compare them. So let's go ahead and we'll start out by writing the 34 and 223 thousandths compared to the 34 and 232 thousandths. All right, so when we start comparing, we're gonna compare them left to right, just like you read. All right, so we've got the tens, the tens place are the same, the ones place are the same, the tenths are the same. Now we get to the hundredths. This is where we see our first difference. We've got a two in the hundredths and a three in the hundredths. Well, obviously, the three in the hundredths is bigger than the two in the hundredths. So when I come down here, this number matches here, and this number is gonna be larger than this number. So we're gonna make our Pac-Man like this. I could even give it an I if I want to. And the Pac-Man's always gonna eat the bigger amount. That's how I remember it, okay? So 34 and 223 thousandths is less than 34 and 232 thousandths. All right, so now we're gonna go down to the next set of numbers. And I'm just gonna erase here. And while I'm erasing, I'm hoping you're seeing how to use this place value chart in order to compare these two numbers. Remember, we go left to right when we're comparing them, just like you read. And that's just another helpful tool for you to help you to um, order these correctly. All right, so we have eight tenths. Now there is a zero here, but if we put a zero in the ones, so say we do that, we put a zero in the ones, it means there's nothing there. So we re would read this the same way, whether the zero was there or whether the zero is not there. So this is read eight tenths, eight tenths, compared to, and we've got a zero in the ones again. See, it doesn't really matter if it's there. I'm still gonna read it the same way. 706 thousandths, 706 thousandths. All right, so the ones, like we said, the ones didn't need to be there because they're both zeros. They both mean there's no value there. So there's no values in the whole number section, in the tens or the ones. So then we compare the tenths. We've got eight tenths compared to seven tenths. Well, obviously eight tenths is bigger, it's greater. So eight tenths is gonna be greater than 706 thousandths. So eight tenths is greater than 706 thousandths. All right, now we're gonna look and see, I drew a line here because the, the numbers and the comparisons below that line are a little different than what we've done before. Now we've done just lists and we put them in ascending, meaning getting larger or decreasing, getting smaller order. We've done that before. Um, and we've done a little bit with the greater than, less than. But we haven't thrown in there the fraction form, okay? So we're gonna look at the fraction form here. So we have to know how to read the fraction as well as knowing how to read the decimal. So this is gonna be 83 hundredths. So when I write that up here, it's 83 hundredths, okay? 
Now, what about this one? Hmm, how do I read that? Well, that's going to be this, this 83 hundredths. 83 hundredths. So how would I write 83 hundredths? Well, we would put a decimal and then 83 hundredths. Hmm, that looks vaguely familiar. So when I write it up here, it's 83 hundredths. So these two, these two are equivalent, and this is the same as this. So 83 hundredths, when we compare them, they're exactly the same. So those are equal. Okay? Now, <clears throat> if I changed one thing, say I changed just one thing. So say I go ahead over here, and I move my decimal over this way and put a zero here. Will they still be equal? Well, let's go ahead and change this up here and then compare again. So if we put a zero in the tenths and then 83 and made this 83 thousandths, we've got an eight in the tenths compared to a zero in the tenths. So this is no longer going to be the same thing. In fact, This is going to be read 83 thousandths. So this 83 thousandths is smaller than 83 hundredths. Okay, so when you add a placeholder here, it's going to mean a lot. Now, if we added a placeholder in the ones, that wouldn't mean anything um, because it's just saying there's no whole numbers. Well, if we add a zero here with no whole numbers, it's still going to be read 83 hundredths. Adding a zero in the tenths completely changes the number. All right, so our last one we have here, we've got five and eight tenths compared to five and eight hundredths. Hmm, so I'm gonna first of all want to take a look at that word form and I'd like to change that into a decimal. So that's gonna be my, the first thing that I need to do. So I'm gonna take five, five and, and tells me decimal, eight hundredths. So I've got an eight in the hundredths place, but what do I have in the tenths? Hmm. Well, it doesn't mention any tenths, so I don't have any tenths. So it's going to be zero tenths. So now I'm going to go ahead and transfer these numbers up here. So I've got five and eight tenths, five and eight tenths, and I have five and eight hundredths five and eight hundredths. Again, there's nothing in the tenths. I didn't say anything in the tenths and the tenths aren't mentioned here. So I have to put a zero in the tenths. So now I can compare them. I've got a five in the ones, just the same. Tenths, I have an eight or a zero. Well, eight is greater than zero. So five and eight tenths is greater than five and eight hundredths. Now remember, we also can change this and make it look more like money. We can say, okay, so this would be five and 80 cents, five dollars and 80 cents. This would be five dollars and eight cents. So when we come back down here, it's easy to see that five dollars and 80 cents is more than five dollars and eight cents. All right, so we're gonna keep reviewing this. You've got um, practice sheets for homework this week. All right, I want you to keep watching, keep thinking, Always stay curious, and I'll see you next time.